Hey, what's up guys? I'm Melissa Elise and you're watching Melissa Elise TV. In today's review of Outlander Season 3, Episode 7, Creme de Menthe, we're going to take a look at some of the comparisons and the contrast between Jamie and Claire's old life and their new one. Let's start with the comparisons. Jamie and Claire's life before was filled with so much danger and excitement and even a bit of deception as they tried to prevent the Battle of Culloden from happening. And this episode is not sparing on any of that. The danger is definitely there, the excitement is there, and even a bit of the deception as they lie to Ian about where little Ian is. Another comparison is drawn between Claire's abilities as a healer. She goes right back into trying to save a life and then treating a patient. And then finally, I really feel like they still fight the same way. I love that Jamie points out that her looks are still unmistakable. There's another comparison drawn between Claire's adjustment to the times, the first time she came through the stones, and this time. In the past, she never really fit that mold of what women are supposed to be like 200 years ago. And even this time, we see that she still has trouble adjusting to the male perception of women 200 years in the past. But that's definitely part of what we love about Claire, is that she's not going to stand for anything that she could potentially change. Before we get to the contrast, I want to take a moment to point out the moment where Jamie tells Claire that he's so grateful she's returned. He talks about his life existing in shadows and that with her return, it was like the sun came out. There are a lot more things that are going to need to come into the light before this season is over and they're not all going to be pretty. Even though this episode was very reminiscent of their old life, there's some pretty distinct contrasts. There's a difference in the danger. Instead of knowing the face of your enemy like Jack Randall, this time the enemy is far more hidden, which makes the danger more ominous. There's a difference in the lies as well. Claire is on the opposite side of the lies this time. Not only is she being kept in the dark, but she doesn't understand why Jamie is lying to Ian. Claire also tries to build a new, more stable, happy life with Jamie. But with the loss of the print shop, it looks like they're going to be returning to Lollybrook, but they're going to be very different people this time. One more comparison I'm curious to see how they contrast is between Jamie in the past when we first meet him, and he's technically in hiding and on the run for a crime he didn't commit. And this time, where he's going to have to run for a crime he did commit, Seems like he's going to have to go pretty far to clear his name this time. All right, y'all. I want to know what you're excited to see in episode eight. Comment below and for, give me a thumbs up if you like this episode. Don't forget to subscribe. You can also find me on Facebook at Melissa Elise McAllister and on Snapchat, Instagram, and Twitter at Melissa Elise TV. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time.